You think he's gonna make it? No. Let's make something. Hey everybody, welcome back to the ranch. I was out here cleaning the pole barn so I'd have a decent place to shoot videos. It doesn't look like a junk bomb went off. Anyway, so naturally I'm moving some things around and and uh, and you know sorting things, tidying up, and then I saw him. He was trapped in a cast net that had fallen to the ground and uh, wasn't moving. So Sonia was out here with me and, and we tried to free him with a pocket knife. Uh, that wasn't working so good. It was putting a little bit too much uh, too much stress on on him and and uh, so she went and got a small, real sharp pair, of, a good quality pair of scissors and was able to snip him free and boy it took about 15 minutes and he pretty much quit moving by the time we uh, got all the netting off of him. Then that little tongue came out and he started moving around a little bit real slow and started crawling up Sonya's arm looking for warmth. <laughs> How you doing little buddy? Uh, he might go, might live. You might just be looking for a warm spot at this point. Yeah, and I am. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh yeah, he's coming right up to life. Just to be sure he's gonna be all right, we uh, we put him in a bucket for uh, about a half an hour. Say hi, everybody. And uh, just kept an eye on him. Um, it's, it was kind of cool this morning, so I didn't expect that a snake would be moving too quickly. Uh, <clears throat> and then we set him free. Um, I set, turned him loose out behind the pig pen. There's a ravine back there. We've seen several snakes back there over the years. And uh, that just seemed like a good place to go. It's all right, little buddy. You're going to be fine. Turn him loose behind the uh, pig pen here. Put him in the sunlight. Yes, he is cold. There we go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Easy does it. All right, little buddy, you're free. You got a second shot. All right, so why save a snake? It's just a snake, right? Well, it was it was an Arkansas black snake. They eat mice, rats, venomous other venomous snakes. Uh, they're not venomous themselves, and they're not particularly aggressive. Um, it just um, it just comes down to good stewardship of nature. Um, you know, we try to use nature to achieve a balance here. Um, well, for example, um, this snake. It eats mice. We have mice here. If they're not kept under control, it can be a problem. Um, when I first got this place and I first bush hogged it, there were mice just running everywhere. And it hadn't been mowed in a long time. The grass was six, seven feet high. It was crazy. Um, this snake, it eats other venomous snakes. We have animals around here that we love. We don't want to see them suffer through a, you know, a water moccasin bite or a cottonmouth or whatever the heck else is out here that's venomous. 
Um, and this snake's not particularly a, a threat to any of the animals out here. Uh, the cats are too big for it to eat. Uh, it's not quite to its liking. They much prefer mice, frogs, other snakes. Um, and, you know, saving it seemed like the right thing to do. So, like, subscribe, comment below and tell me about the time that uh, you've, <laughs> your experience finding snakes just randomly. Be good, do good, and do the best you can with what you got. See you next time.